Hi again, here we are to continue with the, uh, the weather app. And uh, some people were asking about setting the title on a button. So, so far my app shows the, the description and the temperature. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put the city name on this button. So when I click play here, you'll see if I type in a city name, like I type in uh, Paris, and I click OK, you can see it says scattered clouds, right? But it, oh, actually, you know, it says Paris because I, I had done that right before the video. So um, let's imagine it doesn't say that. I'll get rid of this, okay? And then we'll test it again, right? So, uh, and then we'll do it. I'll do it over again, right? So, uh, so here we are, you know, I type in the city name here and I type in Paris. And, uh, you know, and it doesn't, it just says set city. So let's imagine we want this to, uh, to say Paris, right? So what we're going to do is, um, let, let's follow this through again. You know, when you set the city, you're calling the, uh, this alert dialog box, opens the alert box, and then you set a, um, a value in the text field there. And what happens is when you click OK, the alert action, our, our OK alert action, this is the title on the button here, right? It says OK. So when you click OK, um, this action runs in the block here. So this code block right here. And we get the value from the text field. So that's the city name that you typed in. And um, we pass it to the weather service for in the get weather method, and we pass that city name in. And then what happens is weather service calls this class back through its delegate and calls on the set weather method and then it passes a weather object back with all the weather information in it okay and so far this function right here prints you know these little stars and set weather and then it prints the city name and the weather and the description into the um, into the um, the console there right let's comment that out we don't even need that anymore and then it also sets the properties of the city label and the description label. And these two things are IB outlets that are in our storyboard. Let me use the option key and open up the storyboard right now. And so city or temperature label is this one and description label is this one up here at the top, right? And what I'd like to do now is I'd also like to set the, um, the city name down here, right? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll type in city button, right? Because that's the name of my outlet. And then I'll do dot set. And what we want to do here, let me close the, the inspector again or the, the assistant editor, right? What we want is there's a lot of properties here on button and there's a lot of them that say set in front of them. So there's set attributed title, set background image, set content, set content compression resistance priority. <laughs> That's a pretty fun one, right? Sent content hugging priority, right? Um, the one that we want is we want set title, okay? And actually, this method is called set title for control state. And we need, um, <clears throat> this is a little more complicated than setting the value for a label where we just say dot text because the button has different control states, right? So when it's disabled or when you're at, when it's active, like you're, you're touching it with your finger, um, the label can be different in all of those states. So, you know, when you set the title, you essentially need to set the title for each of the states. Really, if you set the title for just the normal state, then it'll use that title on all the other states, unless you set the other states, right? So, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to set the title here for the normal state. But this is the one we want. We want set title for control state. Okay, so just hit return. And then right here where it says title string, this is where we're going to put the, um, the title. So for us, that's going to be weather dot city name. Okay, so I'll type in, that's our weather object right here, and it comes back to us with the city name. And then it says for control state. And so the control state here is one of um, several states that are all con con contained in this um, UI control state thing. Okay, so if you just hit return there, so it types UI control state, after the end of UI control state, you can type dot, and then it'll show you all these values that are possible in UI control state. And the one we want is normal. Pardon me. 
Okay, so we want we want this. And actually, you know, if you want to shorten this in Xcode 7, you can type um, you can just type the dot and it it understands that this should be a, one of these control state values. So you don't have to actually have the, the UI control state in, in front of it because it understands that this parameter should be a UI control state. And then you can see it just lists all of the all of the possible values, right? Application disabled, highlighted, normal, reserved, and selected. So we're going to choose normal, okay? So I'll just do that. So that doesn't look too bad, right? And then we'll give our app a test again. So there we are, and I'll click on Set City, and I'll type in Paris again, and then click OK. And then there's Scattered Clouds, and it says Paris. What if I type in um, San Francisco and click OK? And then it types in, it loads the weather, and then types in San Francisco and shows us the, the temperature, right? Okay, so there you go. So that should get you started with the button. And, uh, you know, if you've, got, if you've gotten that far, then your app is, should be working pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of little things we can do, but uh, we got the main, you know, structure and features of our app working. Pat yourself on the back. Thanks for watching.